Ruth here, and this is my Spellbinders uh, Bago or Buy One Get One sale haul. So first of all, I wanted to show you this card that I won from WJ's Crafting Corner uh, YouTube Labs. I thought it was really cute. I don't know. I got it while I one decided where to when to show it. But anyway, this is really cute. It's a shaker card. And that was the, uh, may the beauty of the season fill your home with happiness and your heart with love. Merry Christmas. Big hugs, WJ. Let's do it. I believe this one was a, uh, I think there were two winners in this live and because uh, there was uh, a guest from someone. It's been a while. Anyway. Oh, this is cool. I believe this is Bellum or something. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe she used... It was either a spellbinder or something, or it was... Well, it was something. I can't remember anymore. I really do like these sequins that don't have a hole in them. But anyway, yeah. So I thought that was cute. And the first time I won a card from one of their live lives. So anyway. On to the haul. I had to open it a tiny bit to take a quick peek of if this was actually the, the uh, package, because on the uh, front of it, it actually doesn't say the words spell buttons on it, so I couldn't tell where it was from. Because like, I look for the uh, Crafter's Companion one, that actually have Crafter's Companion on the uh, um, thing. Address label. But anyway, I have quite a bit of things in here. <laughs> um, let's see, I ordered it on the 7th of February today at the time of recording, and I actually got this in the post today, so it's uh, 15th of February. And yeah, so um, let's start with the first one I pull out. Oh, this is the cute one. I couldn't resist. Oh, so cute. Is a dancing birthday panda. The body swings back and forth. Three cutting dies. It's also nice that the um, the panda has a little um, so shall I say uh, score lines or so. Or embossed lines to show you where to stick the eyes and stuff. That's handy because sometimes you just wouldn't know where to stick them. And this is the uh, the body part that swings. Both feet. That's cute. Let's see. That's the bow. That's I guess the body. Um, these bits are the hands. Ah, oh, these are the ears, and that's, I think, the nose, and that's like the eye patches, and the two eyeballs right here. Very nice. So I guess I cut out the entire thing in white, do the eye patches in black, and the eyes in black. Rest in black and the, the body in white. So I guess those two would be white. Which I guess it's good because it's connected. And those all in black. Well, that's handy. You need to have three different colors if you want this in a different color. That's handy. 
And this was a recently new release. It's from, uh, let's see. See, the full title is Dancing Birthday Panda Etched Dies from the Monster Birthday Collection. S2-378, if you are wondering. If you wanted to have a look at it yourself. So next up. It's very cool. This is the it says crosses two as the title or shape abilities crosses two etch dies s5-093 so i actually don't have any cross related dies so i wanted to get some you know priest or just some because i do like crosses and you know they'd be good for easter cards christmas cards and it could be birthday cards too, I guess. But I thought that was pretty cool. I guess it could also be for... Um... Condolence cards, kind of thing, maybe? Like thinking of you or something? Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. That's a very ornate one, that one. But I quite liked the uh, simple one and the... Uh, Blue I think is what you call it, on this one. Very simple. And you could even paper piece some of these diamonds or use them as a confetti or something. I thought that was pretty neat. Next up. Aha. Uh -huh. Um is this one. This is a Simon Hurley one, Nativity Scene. 15 cutting dies. A lot. I don't have any, because I do have one die that has Mary, Joseph, and Baby Jesus, but it's all together. As you've probably seen in the Template Library, Cactus Companion video. I used that one, I think, I believe in that one. Anyway, um, this has some separate, which is handy. So this is what, like, the scene on the inside. So this one came with the, uh, the, uh, sale. Because I think when we, this one, and one stamp set were not part of the sale. The rest were part of the sale. So the next thing... I'm cheating and looking, but here it is. The main snow globe. Simon snow globe. And then we got Santa and a couple of reindeer up there. We got some houses, some snow banks. These two, and the actual big globe. Like this part is where you can put your text. It's a lot of text. Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright, Jingle Bells, Happy Holidays. A few buildings as well, if you didn't notice. Some in the, uh, for the background part, and I think that's a couple of roofs. It's a house. I guess the roof is, oh, there's some lampposts as well. And some doors, I believe. If you want to, I don't know. Doors, a door and windows. If you want to have it like pop out, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's that's that one.
Let's uh, put them together. Okay, next up is the stamp set that I said is not part of the uh, sale. Other than this is the uh, shopping bag sentiment stamp set. It says, happy birthday, celebrate, girls night out, thank you, super sale, sale, thank you. It's got a nice uh, flower with some foliage, another one of those. They, uh, these are the two I really like. It's an add to cart kind of day, and because I bought it on sale, I actually made money. <laughs> and this one is um, the, uh, I guess you could say, the movement stamp, or kind of like skate movement, like down here. Like it shows the cart was moving. So I thought that was. It was a nice touch as well if you wanted to put that one on. But yeah, I didn't get it last time because I totally forgot. But yes, I couldn't pass up. Next up. Let's see what we got. Alright. Yeah, I never actually said the other things, did I? Okay, let's just uh, say it quickly. Simon Snow Globe etched dies from the Simon Snow Globe collection by Simon Hurley. That's uh, this one. Is S6 222. And the to be seen etched dies from the Simon Snow Globe Globes collection by Simon Hurley. S4 dash. One three two three, and the shopping cart, the uh, shopping bag sentiments clear stamp set from the Add to Cart collection by Becky Roberts, STP-064. And I still need to get that shopping bag die set to me. That's on my to get list for next time. Okay, so only a few more left. And since we're still on the the dies. I'll do these two first. I mean, this one first. This is the flowering tree in classical card base dash large die of the month. D O M L dash March or M A R 23. I thought that would be interesting. Even shows you how to use it. I mean, we could put other things besides the tree on there, you know? Okay. And, uh, yeah. This is a uh, make your own happy birthday card. It even shows you the supplies you need if you want to stay to those colors. So I haven't and probably will never use Barely Art glue. Well, no, no, I kind of want to, but it's too expensive to really get. Because I have other glues I can use, so yeah. Not a very purchase thing I can do with a conscience. Okay, so next up are these two I got on part of the sale, the buy one. Get one. It is the Glimmer Essential Solid Diamond and I don't know why the name is reversed, but Essential Glimmer Solid Oval. Essential and Glimmer is reversed for some odd reason. Trying, for some reason, I find it kind of amusing. Okay, so. Um, even says what it works with, too. Down here. Okay. Um. 
Bien. Entonces me dice, a mí no me gusta más. I just not reading it right. Anyways. Let's see. The diamond was from the Glimmer Greetings collection. And the oval is just says essential glimmer solid oval glimmer hot foil plate. Anyway, the uh, diamond is GLP dash three three eight, and the oval is GLP dash three one nine. I filled up my desk pretty quickly. <laughs> um, yes, that's everything. Uh, can you already tell us uh, reading off the cheat sheet here. Obviously, can't show it the other side because I got my address. But anyway, I'm glad it came before Easter, so I can maybe make some Easter cards. I haven't really made any since Christmas, so hopefully it will turn out okay. <laughs> um, I guess. There was other ones from that monster collection that I was interested in, like the uh, the glasses die set and the uh, numbered balloons. I thought that would be nice, but I'll be I don't know. We'll see. Maybe get it when it's on sale next. Uh, I tend to like getting my things on sale so I can get a whole load of them at once. <laughs> Let's move this. Over. There we go. Anyway, I really do love this cute panda though. It's so cute. I still need to redo how to store things better. Because I kind of, you know, tend to need to revamp some storage things. Because currently I have, I have it in the a4. I'm thinking maybe to cut it down to A5. I did get some two slot poly pockets. So it'll be easier to take out instead of just a whole page, just to take out the, you know, in sections. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud here. They're still so unnecessary. So, um, I do know this one was about 34. These ones verging on like mirror to 20. Definitely, I think, mirror to 20 for that one. Or a bit over. Well, all of them except for this one and this one were mirroring to 20, I think. Definitely teens. This one, I believe, was 5, I think. Talking in pounds now, by the way. Um, but yes, I also got so much so I could not, uh, you know. I think I got enough for the uh, over 50 uh, free shipping. I also had some, I think I had some points I can use as a discount. I can't remember anymore, but you'll see it in the uh, screenshot of my order I put in the uh, slideshow section anyway. So, uh, that should be good enough uh, ramblings. I look forward to making something. And also, see if I can handle that uh, shopping cart, because it is a bit daunting by looking at it, because there's so many parts you got to put together. But anyway. Thank you for watching. I think I said already. We'll run out.